go be that no copana Obeja international banana one of the most popular names in the Nigerian music industry for the past 10 years has been Olamide, the Yoruba rapper who delivers sick flows and memorable lyrics in both his native tongue and English, has been praised for his consistency and versatility. You may think you know all there is to know about this artist, but until you watch this video, you cannot be so sure. Hello guys, and welcome to another exciting installment of our Top 10 Celebrity Facts series, brought to you by Sidemex Entertainment. We will be shedding light on some of the unclear and unusual facts about Olamide in this video. It is Olamide like you have never known before. Before we continue, take 3 seconds to subscribe to our channel by tapping on the subscribe button and then tap on the bell icon to receive notifications when we drop our next video. With that out of the way, kick your feet back and relax as we thrill you with exciting details about this celebrity. Number 10. Olamide was born as Olamide Adedeji in Bariga, Lagos State on the 15th of March 1989. Unlike many other musicians, his stage name is actually his first name without any tweaking. This shows his desire to always be true to who he is and where he comes from, a mindset that reflects all through his music career and personal life. Olamide had grown up in Bariga and was introduced to street life during his childhood. He, however, stuck to his books in his formative years, completing both primary and secondary school. He obtained his first degree in mass communication from Thai Solarin University of Education in Ogun State as a part-time student. Number 9. Despite focusing on his education, Olamide has been experimenting with music since he was around the age of 10 or 11. He revealed in an interview that he remembered rapping to songs as early as in 2000. Later, he joined a rap group named Naughty Pound in 2005. The group had met Lord Ajessa, an artist who many refer to as the pioneer of Yoruba rap. In that early stage of his career, Olamide said he had mostly been rapping in English. However, when he started hanging out with the indigenous rappers around the Akoka area in Yaba, Lagos, his respect for the Yoruba rap grew and he became proud of the language and accent. He started mixing up his lyrics with Yoruba lines and snags. Number 8. Olamide's debut single was Any Duro, a Yoruba and English rap song that he released in 2010. At the time, he was signed under ID Kabasa's record label, Coded Tunes. Lord Ajasa had introduced the two of them. Any Duro was a solid entrance for Lamide into the Nigerian music scene, and many critics still call it one of the best songs ever. It came at a time when the late Dagreen had whetted the appetite of music lovers and had built their crave for creative indigenous hip hop. Many have argued that the Green walked so that Olamide could fly. This has never been contested, not even by Olamide himself. Number 7. In 2011, Olamide released his first studio album titled Rhapsody. He dropped the album under ID Kabasa's record label, Coded Tunes. The album contained 16 tracks and featured hot superstars at the time like Wizkid, DeBange, Nice, Reminisce, Lord of Ajasa, and ID Kabasa. It produced two memorable songs, Eni Duro and Omo Tashan. Number 6. Olamide left Coda Tunes in 2012 and founded his own independent record label called YBNL, Nation or Yahoo Boy No Laptop Nation. His split from ID Kabasa was amicable, a rare occurrence in the Nigerian music industry where artists usually left their parent record label amidst controversial circumstances. Every album Olamide released until 2018 has been under his YBNL Nation record label. At one time or another, he signed Lil Kesh, Victo, Chinko Ekun, Adekunle Gold, Zeno, Davoli, Lita, Picasso Rap, Pele Pele, Limerick, Yomi Blaze, DJ Anymoney, Fireboy DML, B Banks, and Temi of Wasa as artists. YBNL in-house producers include the likes of Fields, Young John, B Banks, and Vinky Hill. Number 5. After releasing the Rhapsody album in 2011, Olamide would go on to release seven albums every year for seven consecutive years between 2011 and 2017. It earned him such titles as the most consistent Nigerian rapper, King Bado, and so on. Albums that Olamide released during this period are Rhapsody in 2011, YBNL in 2012, 
Baddest Guy Ever Liveth in 2013, Street OT in 2014, A.N. Mayweather in 2015, The Glory in 2016, and Lagos Nawa in 2017. In addition, Olamide released a joint album titled Two Kings with his close friend Fino, an Igbo indigenous rapper. He released an album with artists under his label titled Mafia Family in 2018. Number 4. After a brief hiatus from making albums and long-form projects, Olamide dropped two major works in 2020. The first one was the 999 EP that he released on the YBNL Nation record label. He featured Fino, Ratti, Sho, Czech, J-Boy, Souza E and Jack Mills on the EP. Meanwhile, his second project in 2020 was an 11-track album titled Carpe Diem, since he founded YBNL Nation. He had signed a venture deal with Empire Distribution in February 2020. Number 3. Among the several awards that Olamide has won over his career, most notable was his winning the award of Artist of the Year at the Headies for three consecutive years, in 2013, 2014 and 2015. He also won the Best Rap Album at the event two consecutive times in 2013 and 2014. There are several other awards and nominations that the versatile rapper has bagged during his music career. Number 2. Olamide is considered one of the most marketable artists in Nigeria and Africa and big brands always want to work with him as soon as he's available. In 2020, Olamide holds an ambassadorial position at ITEL, a budget smartphone maker in Nigeria. He was a brand ambassador at Goldberg Lager in 2019, Play TV had signed him as a brand ambassador in 2018. Additionally, Olamide had also worked with Sterling Bank, Etisalat, known as Nine Mobile, Glow, Monster, and so on. Number 1. Family, they say, is the most precious thing a person has. Olamide has three children with two different women. His children's name are Maximilian Boluwatife, Tunrepin Miles Adedeji, and Asia Monife Maria. In terms of relationship, Olamide has been in a long time relationship with Adebukumi Aisha Suleiman and she bore him two sons. He had an affair with Maria Okanrende, a popular on-air personality and radio host who worked at Beat FM. The affair produced one daughter, Asaya Monifa Maria. Olamide has been seen as the undisputed voice of the street since she released a track with that title in 2012. The trend-setting singer has served fans such great songs as First of All, Duro Soke, Yemi My Lover, Goons Me, Story for the gods, Bobo, Wo, Sign Student, Who You Ep, and so much more. Certainly, Olamide is not a name that Nigerian music fans will be forgetting anytime soon. Olamide is still very active and we can't wait for his next offering for us. Tell us your favorite Olamide songs in a comment section and keep watching Sidemex Entertainment channel. Are there some quick facts you feel like we missed? Please let us know in the comment section below and check out this other recent clip from Cydermex Entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.